Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Adabesque and in this tutorial I'll be going over the shape tool and shapes you can create with it and also the crop tool so it's kind of a two in one kind of tutorial today. Now it starts with the shape tool. The shape tool like any tool will be found in the tools palette at the side down here or you can just press U on your keyboard. I'll just I'll just press U to access it. Now the default shape that will be selected in the shape tool is square. Uh, so if I draw out my square here, my colour is orange, so it should go to orange and it just has. Uh, it's just like a normal this if you import a photo, um you can use the transformation tools, widen, you can rotate it around and move it wherever you want on your image. Now, as well as the rectangle tool, there is also other shapes. If you hold down the rectangle tool, oh, you need to apply the transformation first. Hold down the rectangle tool, then you get a rounded rectangle tool, which if you use flash will be called a rectangle primitive tool. An ellipse tool, which is basically a circle. Polygon tool, or a poly star if you're in um, flash, it calls, it's called a poly star. Uh, a line tool, and custom shape tool. Now just go to the rounded rectangle tool for the minute. So as you can see, I'm creating a rectangle, but the edges are round, like a circle. Now if you go up to the top, you can change the amount, the pixel radius of the corners. Say we want it a bit less, we want it to about 100. And then if you drag the one with the 100 out, it should do it. There we go. Now, it's good. Right. So, let's go to the ellipse tool. There we go. I'm going to hold shift to make a one with the exact proportions and just like a normal circle drag it out and you see it's combined the shapes that's weird anyway now select something okay right now let's go to the polygon tool draw this out and as you draw it out you can actually twist the polygon round as you can probably see me doing here and make it bigger and smaller let's make it about this big okay so we've got a five sided shape we have here a pentagon now if we go on the polygon tool again and choose the sides and change it to say we want a octagon go to eight now we have more sides say we can go don't know what the limit is on here a hundred let's try a hundred and as you can see it looks like a circle because there is so many sides so let's dumb it down to 50 and that's even too much let's go down to let's try 18 ah now you can see the actual sides here if I do even less let's go down to 12 you can see the sides more now <coughs> okay now we also have the line tool which as you can guess is a line um, I'm going to change the style no not the style keep that there right the weight I'm going to change to a 10 and just draw this out like so this can be like your brush tool but is a straight line so no curves in it I'm just going to make a new image because it's a bit crowded it's a bit crowded up here new image default photoshop size right and now the last one is custom shape tool now 
I draw a, a arrow because that's set here. You can change this. Well, we have arrows. So, so it looks like a frame. Yeah, banner. Sorry, frame. Notes, lightning, flower, grass, light bulb, thumbtack, envelope, and so on and so forth. That's scout badge, isn't it? Looks like the scout badge. Anyway, I'm going to try the I'm gonna, the trademark sign. Just drag that out like so. Or I could put in a light bulb. That looks nice. Okay, so you got these custom shapes. What I thought it was going to be, because I've never actually tried it before, was you drew your own shape, but obviously not. Okay, so you got got lots to play with here, and that's for the shape tool now over to the crop tool let me just open an image let's find an image a good image to crop this is actually an iphone or ipod touch wallpaper that i downloaded the other day and the crop tool is c on your keyboard or in the tools palette so i'm just going to press in the tools palette <coughs> And say we want to have this as an MSN display picture or a YouTube display picture. <coughs> what we can do is just drag out as if you're trying to select a mark. If you had a marquee selection, you wanted to drag out just this guy here. Now, just drag it out. As you can see, you've got the dotted lines showing your border. You can change the size of the crop the position say we just want his eyes here okay as soon as you've got your right shape and size just go to the tick here to crop the image and now we only have this part Say I wanted to do it to a set amount of um, dimensions. Say I want to crop about 20 pixels by oh, 20 pixels by 15 pixels. Then, as you can see here, it's set to that size and shape like so and we, c we can not change just one area you can even rotate this so say I wanted that then it will rotate back okay that's it for the crop tool and the shape tool I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial my next one will be about if I can get word up here my next one will be the clone stamp tool so watch out for that I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and now you can use the crop tool see you in the next tutorial have a good day and goodbye